Ah, how you doing today? All right, I get asked this question all the time. How do I get more spin on my wedges? I'm gonna show you the easy way right now. Okay, getting more spin on your wedge shots is a big, big uh, issue out there in the game. And so I'm gonna give you the keys to be able to do that. Uh, make sure you uh, hit the like button and look, I know like 70% of the people who watch my videos are not subscribers. So hit the subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss anything, appreciate it. I'll wait. Okay, uh, here we go. First of all, there's some things you gotta make sure you, you don't do in this. One, don't play with dirty grooves. Don't do that, okay? That's for nut balls. Clean them out, use a tee, use a cleaner, use a brush, I don't care. Also, uh, don't use clubs from 1908. That's not gonna help you, okay? Get some recent wedges with some decent grooves, okay? And then you'll be on your way. Okay, that's pretty much, the, the newer wedges, stay in this, you know, recent decade and you'll be good okay you'll be able to spin them enough got a 50 yarder here to the middle of this green that's a tough spot to get a lot of spin now with the methods i'm going to show you with the tips it applies for basically every type of wedge shot uh whether you're a little bit closer or a little bit farther away this is how you get the maximum amount of spin on the shots you have now i'm probably not going to suck this back 40 feet from 50 yards, but I can get a nice stopper, okay? Hop and stop or really control my uh, spin a lot and get it a lot closer to the hole. So that's going to be the deal. I'm going to use my 60 degree lob wedge, uh, M grind, eight degrees of balance, Vokey SM8, just so you know. And 50 to the center. And uh, there's just some keys, we have some fundamentals, we have to to have down to be able to pull this off. I'll show you. Uh, also, don't use rock hard balls. Okay, use, I don't care what you use, but I've got the Pro V1X, it's a good spinning ball. Use something that can spin. There you go. Okay. First things first is gonna be just your setup, okay? I want your stance narrow. Narrow stance, don't get too wide, okay? We don't want too wide stance. Narrow stance, weight's gonna be on the forward side here. So, right in here, for me, okay, weight forward. That's what you want. And I want that ball, man, like, if the belly button's middle, I want it like one ball inside of my belly button, okay, right there. So here's my belly button, boom, inside, right in there. This is the good, proper position. Now, you see what I did? That's a no-no. See a divot? You gotta make sure you do not take that big a divot. You might think that, oh, that means I'm coming down on the ball and it, no. That will get the ball up in the air high. We want it a little bit lower, control that flight so that we can get a little bit more spin. That's a good shot, but you can hit a gooder one. That's a better one. I was joking about the gooder thing. Okay, next piece. Don't worry, I'll fix that. Is, if I'm taking a big divot, it's because I'm getting way too steep, okay? If I'm too steep, that ball is not going to stay on that club face long enough to get maximum amount of spin. So you really want to come in more shallow, not too shallow, but more shallow than steep. And that way you're making good, if you come here like this, you're boom, it's too much. It's too steep and that ball is just, it's not gonna compress like it should because you're digging into that ground and it's stopping your club from moving forward. So the club has to be moving forward more or more during more time. It, nothing can really slow it down too much because as soon as that club head strikes the ground, it's starting to slow down and then that ball's gone. And so it's, it's a minimal amount of time, but I want that ball to stay on the face longer. So I'm not coming in like this shallow, like way in here but I'm more shallow in here with my hands deeper, okay? So I'm just taking it deeper. So I'm keeping those hands close to my thigh on the backswing, here. 
okay? That's like the second piece. So I'll take less of a divot this time. A little bit smaller. That's better, that's what I want. And that ball flew about the same distance and then stopped a lot faster. And there's really one more key that's gonna put all this together for you so that you can really uh, get a good check on that golf ball. Okay, this is going to take a little bit of practice, a little bit of getting used to, but once you get it, forget it. I mean, it's gonna help your whole entire game. What I want you to do is, you got the setup, you're keeping it tight in here. As you hit, I want you to feel like your chest is getting closer to that ball. It's not going to, but I want you to feel like you're down in here. You keep that angle in here as you hit. So as you hit, you're, you feel like you're down more here. What it's gonna do is force that right elbow to stay bent through the hitting area. So as you practice these shots, you're gonna be down in here and I want you to keep that right elbow on your stomach the whole time and stop here, okay? So you're here, you're feeling it in here, boom, and you're right in here. That's going to help you with ball compression. The longer you stay down here, okay, and move fast, it's gonna force you to rotate and really get maximum club head speed for that area that's going to be uh, on the ball. And that's what you want for most spin. But once you come up and out of it, you're flipping and you're losing that uh, ball compression that you need so much to get the maximum spin. So, just take a few practice swings right in here. And stay down there as you hit. Okay, a little too big of a divot, so we wanna keep working on that until we get it right. But that one is the uh, one that stopped the shortest. Look at it from the other side. So if you get too big a divot while you stay down, okay, which I did on that last one, you wanna then keep taking it more shallow until you get just, you just really wanna brush that grass, like Greg Norman style. Brush it, don't go too down. The more you brush it, the more uh, you'll see the ball fly come down and you'll have more check on that golf ball. That one was perfect. There you go. Hope this video was helpful for you. Work on those keys and you'll find the lower you hit your 60, the more bite it will have and the more control you'll have. It's gonna take some practice to get all of it down, but eventually you start seeing things starting to click, you'll start feeling it better, and you'll be able to compress that ball to the point where you can really control the, the trajectory and the spin. <sighs> You're on your way. That's how I get more spin on by wedges. Comment below, let me know how it's working for you, what you might be having problems with, We'll get you fixed up in videos to come. Thanks for watching. Love you guys. See you.